You remember when I was told that I'm an LG hater for saying that 40 gigabits per second is not going to be enough? Well, I got this in my DMs, and I think you might want to hear this. Cap, it's HDMI 2.1 at 40 gigabits per second. And the only people I thought would be affected would be PC gamers. Apparently. Uh Uh-huh. You guys getting the gist as to where this is going, right? You, you see the backtracking, the backpedaling that I told you would start to happen as the year goes on and the flaws are starting to be exposed after the Series X and these new consoles would launch? Literally, you can't make this stuff up. I told you and warned you exactly what's going to happen, and now look what's happening. Xbox Series X is capable of 4K 120 12-bit. So, the the C10 can't do it. I'll say I'll save you another fucking seven minutes. The C10 can't do it. Period. And and I've been on this this rant, as many have called it, to try to awaken people and warn people about this because there's so much dangerous misinformation. Stop the FOMO was one of the leaders behind that misinformation, and now he wants to walk those claims back and pretend like he wasn't saying that the only people affected are PC gamers. Completely dismissing the advantage of true 48 gigabit per second HDMI 2.1. I said it from day one. You do not have 120 hertz, 4K, and the BT2020 color that you need because HD, uh, the HDMI 2.1 isn't being fully met with LG. And guys, you know you remember seeing all the hate I got for that. I'm still getting hate comments about that. But I was right, wasn't I? Remember when I told you VRR would be a problem? Not a single apology came my way. Because at the end of the day, it's this double standard. LG can drop promises. LG can be inadequate. And then you could just roll the blame on me, right? I'm the problem. I'm the LG hater. What did LG do to me? What has happened personally? Did they attack my dog? Like all these questions and comments that are disrespectful because I'm right. I've literally always been right about LG. I've never been wrong once. I've never been wrong about any TV in the history of my fucking channel. Go check. I've never been wrong. All the people rocking KS8000s, Sony X900Es, Q8FNs, H9Fs, H9Gs, all the TVs I recommend still love their TVs because I've recommended champions, TVs that are worth buying. And when something's not worth it, which is, uh, sorry to tell you this, most of the market because they pay for a reviewer to give them favor and then they promote that favor on their website and then you read the company website and believe it and then buy it like an idiot. Like, that's none of my fault. I've done everything I could to wake you guys up. And then what's happening? Your FOMO say shit like this. Let's get this out of the way. What does that mean for the LG C10? Well, let's check out the settings and see. As you can see in the settings right here, 4K 120, yes. Get ready. It has a 12-bit option, yes. Oh. However, if you select the 4K 120, what happens? You cannot select the 12-bit. Oh. If you select the 12-bit, it drops to 4K 60. You don't say. If you bring it back up to 4K 120, it drops back to 10-bit. So as you can see, one goes up, the other must go down. The question for everyone is this. So who who, who would have called that? Does that not sound like some shit I was talking about from the beginning? That you're going to have problems on the C10? Amazing. This does 12-bit make a difference going from 10 to 12? Because I do know going from 60 frames per second to 120, it's much smoother, right? But 10-bit to 12-bit. Now, it's supposed to give you less banding. It does. Better colored gradients, right? That's what it does. But at the end of the day, does it make a difference? Yes, it makes a difference. For those that don't understand how this works because you're maybe new to this, 10-bit is a smaller color coverage. 12-bit is a wider color coverage. You're talking about a difference literally of 64 times more color. You have 1 billion shades of color activated on 10 bits. At 12 bits, you have 64 billion shades of color. It absolutely makes a difference in your gradients because there are more colors between multiple shades of orange to to red. Like it gradates from orange to yellow a lot smoother with a lot more in between nuanced colors, which is why you want 12 bit displays. But I'll digress. And I think the more important question is does it matter that it doesn't make a difference? Because gamers. Come again? When you buy a TV, you want to check all the max settings that you can. Because you're paying a premium for this TV. So when you buy the LG C10, you're under the expectation that the Xbox Series X, when you turn it on, you can check all the boxes, right? Uh Well, you can't. Because you can't check the 12-bit 
and get 4K 120. You're going to drop to 4K 60, and that's a huge disappointment you for know many. Well, really? But let's get some context here. Real different from what you're saying. Many of us have said, wait till next year. Babe, you're going to. Who the hell said that but me? Show me a video now where anybody other than me has been saying, wait until next year religiously. You see the shit they do? They lie and they try to get credit for some shit they haven't been saying. He literally just contradicted himself. In the beginning of his video, he said, oh, I was one of the ones that said it. I didn't think it would matter. And now listen to him. Many of us have said, wait till next year. Ha, no, no, fuck that. You mean Quantum TV said, wait until next year. As you LG fanboys laughed at me, as you LG fanboys posted on Reddit about me being a quack, a fraud, don't know what I'm talking about. Well, here you go. Here's your, your, your professional, right? Stop the FOMOs, your guy, right? I'm the guy that needs to be ostracized. I'm the pariah, right? The guy that warns you from day one and has been right about every single TV. And this is the kind of stuff you need to see. You need to see in real time them walk their claims back. You need to see in real time the affiliate links that will no doubt be attached to every fucking video regardless of what they say. Notice how there's a C10 in there even though it's not good for gaming. You're going to notice that there's a C10 attached as the best gaming TV as well on FOMO's channel. So he's not really walking back anything. He just wants you to buy from these affiliate links, make him money. I mean, this is the kind of stuff I get so fed up with because this is what YouTube turns into. A cesspool of true misinformation is the only person who stands against the status quo throwing a bowling ball down the alley, striking out all that bullshit information with real information. Now they want to take my credit. Isn't it funny how that shit works? I wanted to show you that in real time. And you know what? Hate me or love me. You need to understand I don't lie about these TVs. And I actually know what I'm talking about. And at the end of the day, if you listen to me, you're going to walk away with the champion like everybody who has the TVs that I owned that I pitted against the LG C10. Enough said.